Leases, lies, and cleaning supplies. The second day in the trial of two people accused of murdering a four-year-old girl last March. Featured testimony from responding officers and detectives who investigated the death of Anaya Day Garrett. And the girl's mother, Sierra Day, and the mother's boyfriend, Deontay Lewis, are being tried together. Both are accused of aggravated murder. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has covered this story from the beginning. He joins us live outside the Justice Center. Well, on Wednesday, in their opening statements, prosecutors say that Anaya suffered a long and prolonged death. And today, they began introducing evidence that supports that theory. Piece after piece. States Exhibit 519. Bag after bag. Child's bedroom. Prosecutors unveiled their case. The second day of the trial against Deontay Lewis in Sierra Day was all about evidence and impressions. And the apartment itself was very, very clean. Euclid Police Detective Phil Shetter collected evidence from Sierra Day's apartment on the day that Anaya died. He described the cleaning products on the counter, the smell of solvents, and the wet towels that he collected. All of this suggests that Sierra Day and Deontay Lewis tried to cover their tracks before calling 911 to report Anaya wasn't breathing. I mean, it was practically immaculate. Uh, it was very, very tidy, neat. Um, there was no disarray of any kind. Did you notice any odor when you entered the apartment? Yes, I did. And what was that? The apartment smelled strongly of bleach. Prosecutors also called Day's neighbors to the stand, who testified to seeing Lewis in and around the apartment frequently. They also testified to seeing Lewis alone with Anaya, which could dispute the defense's argument that Lewis could not have killed Anaya because he wasn't there for the abuse. Detectives also told the jury that neither Day nor Lewis showed emotion. Other members of Sierra Day's family, however, were inconsolable. One of the family members began to um, act as if she was going to pass out. She began to hyperventilate. Then came the disturbing photos showing the condition in which authorities found Anaya. The four-year-old weighed a mere 28 pounds and likely died before she made it to the hospital. Swollen shut. Detectives testified to the litany of injuries on Anaya's body, some of which were already healing. Injuries suggest that Anaya survived repeated abuse until her little body could not endure anymore. A severe bruise to her left eye. She had um, what appeared to be burn marks or, or blisters on her legs. Um, very, very disturbing. Testimony will resume Monday morning at 9 a.m. Reporting live downtown, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.